What's good guys, it's Peter and on the behind the camera together we are two hungry diners. Well guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel and today we are at Queen Victoria Market. This is the largest open air market in the Southern Hemisphere. This market has absolutely everything you need from fresh produce, daily needs and you know some food and coffee as well. And yes, today we are taking you in a tour to explore Queen Victoria Market. This is the ultimate guide, the only guide you need if you are visiting Queen Victoria Market. If you haven't already guys, subscribe to our awesome, awesome YouTube channel for more video like this in the future. Let's go, let's explore this market. No visit to the market is complete without a bag of famous hot jam donuts from American Donut Kitchen. This is the market's most iconic food and a perfect start to Queen Victoria's market tour. Don't let the long line turn you down as it is moving relatively quickly. The sugar dusted, raspberry jam filled donuts are cooked to order and served warm. A quality that makes them so irresistible. You definitely don't want to miss their donuts. One bag, five pieces, cost us $7.50 now. I remember it used to be less than $5 a bag, I remember, many, many years ago. But still, you can't miss these donuts in the morning. Okay, let's go find some coffee now. If you are looking for a good caffeine heat, there are several available coffee shops in the market including the ever-popular Marketland Coffee, which we did a review in our top 10 coffee shops to try in Melbourne. But for this episode, we are heading down to Little League, located at Shring Bean Alley, the newest laneway at Queen Victoria Market. This is a boutique coffee shop serving up their own brew as well as sweet treats and smaller bites. We never tried the coffee before, but the cup looks really colorful, right? very exciting. This color here. <laughs> the leak of Anna's coffee. Let's try with the donut. American kitchen donut. Mm. Very classic, very good, fluffy, uh, very good jam as well. They're using raspberry and palm jam here. Still super warm as well. Mm. Freshly deep fried donut in the morning is the best. Mm. Mm. Yeah, not bad at all, guys. And there are several um, coffee shops in this market, but we choose to try this one because we never try this one. This is on the other side of the entrance, and yeah, we recommend you guys to try. Not bad coffee at all. Built in the 1860s, the Meat, Fish and Rabbit Building or Meat and Fish Hall as it is actually known for now has about 20 butchers and 10 fishmongers of various quality and ethnic backgrounds. The thick slabs of meats and whole fresh fish were displayed on trays and keep in cold glass cases. The selection is truly wonderful, pretty much any meat or cut you desire can be purchased from beef pork, lamb, goat, sausages, even offals. The same goes for seafood. You can buy almost any seafood that your heart desires. The Queen Victoria Market is renowned as a great place to discover an abundance of fresh, specialty and seasonal produce. Here you can find locally grown as well as produced from around the world. If you prefer to shop organic, you'll find a section dedicated to organic produce. Either way, every item you find at each of the fruits and vegetable stalls was plump, perky, vibrant, and inviting. 
There is no shortage of peddling shouts from the seller. They lift the moods and bring liveliness to the market. Even younger traders help out with the business, trying to attract every visitors to open their wallet. Seedless price, seedless, seedless, seedless. One dollar mango, one dollar mango, one dollar mango. Fresh eggs, fresh eggs, six dollar free range, six dollar free range. Within the premises of the market, there was also a food hall which provided local and international flavors. The food hall, however, is currently closed as it is going through a major redevelopment. Expected to open in the second half of 2022, the redevelopment will provide a new social destination within the market which will include an improved dining area with more than 60 additional seats, flexible layout, greenery, new flooring, and roof. While construction is underway, Queen Victoria Market has plenty of other food and drink options across the market, including in the Dairy Produce Hall, F Shed, Victoria Street, Elizabeth Street, and String Bean Alley. For your lunch options, you can also opt in for seafood here at the market. And today, we've got the grill mussel from this mussel pot. I think we try uh, a lot of like steamed mussels in the past, but yeah, but we never tried the the grill one. So this is really exciting. This is garlic butter and breadcrumb um, grill mussels, and the mussel itself from Port Arlington. Oh. Love the smells. I think it's grilled quite perfectly as well. Okay, let's cheers, guys. Mm, garlic and butter is always spot on, and that muscle really tender, super fresh as well. Perfectly seasoned, perfectly cooked. Mm. Super fresh. The foodie tour. The market can be overwhelming for novices, and if you feel you are in need of deep dive tour of the market, book yourselves on the Queen Victoria Market Ultimate Foodie Tour. The Ultimate Foodie Tour is a fascinating guided walking tour of the iconic Queen Victoria Market. Taste the freshest produce, discover unique ingredients, Learn tips and tricks for shopping and cooking, discover the market history and meet some of the beloved market traders. We did the tour back in 2019 and it was an unforgettable experience. We had so much fun walking around the market and our guide was so knowledgeable and explained the history of the market from the beginning and how it changed over the decades. We highly recommend this tour to anyone. Welcome to the daily section! <laughs> True to its names, the Dairy Hall is an emporium of all things smoke, cure, pickle, brine and age. Here you can expect to find cheeses from all over the world plus fresh pasta and antipasti delights like marinated olives, dips, salami, pesto and many more. Whether you are looking to stock up your pantry or creating that perfect platter or cheese board, you surely won't run out of options. If you are failing package, there are several shops in the dairy hall where you can grab a quick bite. Guys, daily sections is always interesting. There are a lot of food tasting in this section. But right now, I am so hungry. Let's find some food in this daily section. Let's go. The Borek shops is always our favorite. The savory pastries, filled with cheese and spinach, veggies or spicy lamb are too good to miss. Alright guys, I found my lunch today. Uh, yeah, this is sausage um, from Bradwoods uh, Shop & Co. You have a lot of selection for the sausage itself. I choose the spicy one today. The sausage is really nice guys. It has a little bit of kick and with that mustard and sauerkraut, really nice. I would like the bread to be toasted a little bit more um, because right now it's a bit, you know, tough to eat, but the sausage, really nice. Recommended, guys. 
guys, this is from Corner Chicken, one of our favorite shops in the Delhi area. And we always stop by this store because their chicken looks always looks amazing, especially oh, the chicken ribs. Amazing, guys. I think this is the best chicken ribs we've ever tried in Melbourne and very cheap, very affordable too. Mm. Delicious. Mm. The lunch options are very affordable and perfect if you're looking for something quick and not too heavy of a meal, leaving a bit more room for other foods around the market. Cheese is three for ten dollars. What a bargain, guys! Swiss camembert and gouda. market there are a lot of shades for example behind me from shade A to around K or L shade uh, this section here every Wednesday night during summer they turn it into a night market uh, on the usual business uh, hours they also sell a lot of random things in here from fruits vegetables souvenirs all the things like clothing everything you can think of is uh, here as Oni has mentioned previously, the sheds, home to hundreds of specialty stalls during the day, are transformed into an entertainment playground where night market goers will be able to once again satisfy their craving, do a night shopping, and enjoy a live music every Wednesday night. And when we recorded this video, the summer night market is on. We went to the night market, both summer and winter night markets, several times in the past and it was a fun way to break up our weekday routine. There are over 60 global street food stalls and more than 100 specialty shopping stalls, festival bars, and a rotating lineup of live music and entertainment. Queen Victoria Market is home to hundreds of specialty shopping shops, stalls, and a range of services. Here you can expect to find local artists selling their art and handicrafts, florists, gardens and nurseries, hardwares, beauty and cosmetic, souvenir and antiques, and many more. There's not much you cannot find in the stalls of Queen Victoria Market. Alright guys, in this section, it's a little bit less crowded than the other sections. This section has some specialty shops and some clothing stores and souvenirs. There are a lot of different things, random things you can find here. And we often bring our family members when they are visiting Melbourne to buy some souvenirs to take home. To close off, you can't miss the dessert. The market is also home to several sweet snacks and dessert stalls to satisfy those sweet tooth cravings. You'll find artisan bakers, patisseries, delicious cake shops, chocolate shops like Coco Black, and ice cream shop Geloso. We did cover Geloso ice cream shop in our top 10 must try ice cream shop in Melbourne. And yes, you don't want to miss the dessert offering in the market. What a day guys, I have done my shopping, it's been a great day here at the Queen Victoria Market and basically you can get everything you need in this market from fresh produce, coffee, tea, dairy, cheese, spices, souvenirs, anything you can think of is in this market and I hope you guys find this ultimate guide video useful for your next visit to Queen Victoria market in the future and yeah there are so many areas to explore and if you are not into buying stuff you can always get a cup of coffee and enjoy the beautiful vibe of this market yeah there's some parts of this market they are under construction until I think mid of this year but after that, I think it's going to be an amazing place for tourists, especially because we are now open. Australia is open for international tourists. See you guys in the next video. Stay foolish, stay hungry. Bye!